tutorial I'll show you how to make a Swiss style clock with displays in a very minimalistic way where, where we are actually just using strokes and ellipse tool to do some parts of a circle and um, then definitely the rotation tool. But first of all we need to use some guides. I need a central point somewhere, so a reference point. So I need to use guides. So first of all to use guides I need to turn on my ruler. It's hidden under view then I have rulers here. I say show rulers. Then I have my rulers here and I use the rulers by just clicking on them, click and hold and then drag down and then I have my ruler. Then I release it and it's here. And I need another one. Click and hold, drag into the paper and release it. Then it's there. Then I can't select them anymore. Maybe they are misplaced. Maybe I need to change them or so. So how do I control my guides here from my rulers? I go up in view again and then I have a section for my guides. I can hide them, I can lock them, and I can clear them. That is really good. So if I say hide, they're still there, but I can't see them. Okay. I would like to see them. I would like to move them. Okay. Go to guides. Release lock guides, and then you can actually select them and move them around. Okay, that's it. But I would like to lock them, so I go back again, and then I say lock guides, so they are kind of static. Now I would like to draw a circle from the center point. So I press down the Alt key on the keyboard and I drag it. I would like to fixate it so it is basically a circle. So I also press down Shift key, both Alt and Shift key. And this is my watch. And I would like it to be black on the edge and my fill color should be white. And I would like to do something with the strokes. So where can I do that? Well, what about appearance? go down here to the stroke size, 8 point, fill is white, fine. Now I would like to have some displays on my clock, display numbers. So I take my stroke tool here and then I just make a little stroke here. And I press down shift to fixate it. And this one I would like it to be a bit wider than the other one. So I'll say it would be like 12. Maybe I would like to have it a little longer. Hmm. Then I take my black arrow, then I have the bounding box where I can basically scale it like that. Then I would like to have this one both there, there and there. So I'd like to rotate it. I take my rotation tool and I would like to move that one. So I press down the alternate key again, aim for center, click one time and I would basically like it to go 90 degrees. Preview, yeah, looks nice. Then I say copy and I would like to repeat this action. So I go up in my object, transform, transform again, my repeater function. And then I use the shortcut for the next repeat. Nice. Now I need some other numbers. I would like the small numbers. That should be a smaller stroke like uh, this one. And then I make it smaller over here. And then I take my black arrow and I would like to move it up there. Now it's on the top of this one. I can't see it because it's black and black. Now I'd like to rotate this one all around my clock. So I got my 12 displays. I take my rotation again and I just basically just repeat the action here. Press down alternate, click one time in the center. But now I need to figure out, okay, I got 12 numbers I would like to display. 12 strokes in a circle that is 360 degrees. So I need to do some math here. So I press in 360 and then I use divide with 12. What is that? Well, this is an inbuilt calculator. So if I just uh, move my focus somewhere else, it shows me it's 30 degrees. Ah, awesome. I'll just copy that. And then I'll do a repeat. And it also, of course, makes a repeat where my big displays are. And now I have my clock. If I want to have some small, smaller divisions in between, I can just repeat the action over and over again until I got all the things I would like to have in my clock. But now I would like to have the big displays on it. So I take my stroke again and draw it like here. And then I would like to have a circle down here. So I take my ellipses tool here click here and press down alternate so I draw out 
from the middle and also shift key here and I would like that to be not black and have no stroke at all and I would like to have it a fill color of red I can also take the fill color down here and say it should be that kind of red or more wow red then I'll select my black arrow whoops I didn't do that properly here let's try again and then I select my <coughs> display stroke here and say it should be the same color and what color did I use I used that one what about the length of it yeah maybe it should be shorter because this one is basically not um, the one showing hours it's the one showing minutes or is it the one showing hours I can scale it to like this and now you will realize that my stroke is kind of whenever I scale this one by just using the bounding box it suddenly changes my stroke how come if I look in transform I see that it also scale strokes and effects ah I don't want it to scale my strokes when I defined it to 8 it has to be stuck on 8 now it's stuck on 8 because I unticked my scale strokes and effects from transform panel okay now I have this one I would like to rotate it so it points to 3 o'clock I take my rotation tool and my rotation point should be here in the middle and then I just drag it over here and then I would might like a uh, another stroke that should be the smaller one now it's eight point and it doesn't scale and uh, maybe I would like it a bit larger so I take my black arrow expand it a little bit drag it whoops I down accidentally selected my big watch I'll just undo that and remember the shortcut because you need to undo a lot then I select this one and I would like to uh, move it a little bit and then I would like to rotate it here oh I'll just undo that because it didn't go for my center now it's in my center oh no I just accidentally came to drag it here it is and then I can actually move my um, hour I'll move hour to half past one like here and then I would like to move my um, other display here select my rotation go into the middle move it to half an hour and now I've done, done my um, Swiss and bad clock I would like to see it without my guide so I go up in view guides hide guides that's it now it's your turn to draw a simple clock <laughs>